are you doing? She said, oh, you guys stole my dog and then pulled the knife out on us. Mm -hmm. It started as a report for a missing dog, but this California woman quickly turned it into something much more sinister. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing? And then she was like, I'm looking for my dog. You guys have my dog. I'm like, you don't have your dog. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see that she even had a knife. And then my wife was like, what are you doing with that knife? After approaching neighbors with multiple butcher knives, she drove her car straight at a deputy, chasing him through her front yard. The officer was able to move out of the way and shot seven times toward the suspect. This led up to an officer-involved shooting and a chase across the area. But before all that, it started with a 911 call. Hello. Hi, this is the Rancho Cordova Police Department. You called about your dog. The original call came in at about 10.30 a.m. on November 20th of last year. 24-year-old Kyriana Lyles called the Rancho Cordova Police Department in Northern California reporting her dog was missing. This is a recording from when the dispatch called her back. Yeah, she's barking in the same spot in someone's backyard, but I knocked on two of the neighbor's doors. One of them answered, said that they didn't have the dog. It sounds like it's coming from the house behind them. Okay. But I it's like hard to tell. Can you get me an address of where we need to go? Yeah. It's... And can you see your dog? Can I what? How do you know it's your dog? Because yeah. I know what my dog is bark sounds like. Just minutes later, a separate 911 call came in, reporting a woman in this same neighborhood walking around armed with a butcher knife. Sheriff's office. Hey, I'm calling. Um, I live in Ranch Cordova, and there's this woman walking around with a with a butcher knife, and she just tried to break into our house. What address is this at? And is the person white, black, Hispanic, or Asian? She's white. She's wearing checkered shorts. She's holding around a butcher knife, and she's going around. What color shirt, ma'am? People pass her. What color shirt was she wearing? Oh, hold on. Let me look at my camera. And do you know if she did she try to did she try to open any other neighbors' doors or just yours? I'm not sure if she did or not. She came to our door once to try to get in through the door, and by the time we got out there, she was gone. Then about three minutes later, she circled back and started opening our fence to get into our backyard, and that's when we saw her. And she started like banging on the doors and the gates. I don't know if she went to anybody else's house though. After this call ended, dispatch called Lyles again, asking for the status of her dog and whether she was the woman walking around with that knife. Hello? Hi, is this? Yes, uh, I just got a phone call. Uh-huh. That was me yes, trying yeah. to, are you kidding? I know who has, okay. I already know who has my dog. Yeah, are, it's, my dog's in the backyard. Okay, I'm sending officers to help you. Are you carrying a butcher knife? No, I'm sitting in a chair in my room. You're sitting in a chair in your room. You don't have a knife at all? No. Okay, what, what's your address? What's your room? I got my dog, thank you. Oh, you already have your dog. That dial tone at the end of the recording means Lyle's hung up on dispatch. But sheriff's deputies still made their way to the neighborhood she'd called from. Officials first met with the couple that called 911 who said they'd never seen Lyles in their area before, but she had come onto their property with a sizable knife. Is this her down here in the car, or where'd she go? She just walked that way. I don't know where she went after that. Is we she, went back in the house. Is she one of your neighbors? So she says she lives. She actually knows where she lives. I've never seen her before. Mm -hmm. We just came out here because she was in her backyard. Mm -hmm. and we were like, what are you doing? She said, oh, you guys stole my dog and then pulled the knife out on us. Body camera video captures the interview with the couple who described the interaction and hostility coming from Lyles. We're like, we don't have your dog, and then how, how put she, the knife down. How was she holding the knife? I could actually see, I have yeah, a video cameras, on the green sure camera. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. And I was like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. And I didn't even see that she had a knife until... We have a dog back there? We have two, we have two dogs. dogs. And so they're our neighbors both, behind... Are they both your dogs? Or did you like find one of them? No, 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 they're both ours. Though. And then the, she was like, oh, I can hear the dogs barking. I was like, our neighbors behind us also have dogs. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, they're the ones that are probably barking because they're like, oh yeah, so let me pause it real quick. 
So, actually, I actually downloaded the video. Yeah. The couple then pull out the ring camera video that shows Lyles approach their front door with a knife. So she came back. She, the first time she came, she knocked, and then by the time I got out, she was already walking away. And then this time she came back in, and we were like, all of a sudden we heard this like super loud banging, and I was like, what the heck was that? And so um, I got out, and I was like, make sure the dogs don't get out. So I walked out, and then on my other cameras, I saw that she just like barged into the backyard, and mm -hmm. I was like, what the heck? And then by that time when I came out, she was like walking out and I'm like, hey, what are you doing? And then she was like, I'm looking for my dog. You guys have my dog. I'm like, you don't have your dog. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see that she even had a knife. And then my wife was like, what are you doing with that knife? And she's like, put that knife away. And then she like hit it behind. And she was like, she was kind of like swinging it a little bit. She wasn't like doing anything, but mm -hmm. she was like, um, like, I'm looking for my dog. And mm -hmm. so I was like. She said something like someone's going to like hurt her dog if she doesn't get it back. I was like, we don't have your dog. Mm -hmm. And so um, then she put it in the back mm -hmm. and then walked away. But, okay. Yeah, but apparently uh, she was in knows where she mm -hmm. lives. So. The ring camera video shows Lyles with the knife as a dog barking can be heard in the background. <laughs> After deputies look at this video, they begin the search for Lyles. They find her just down the road, sitting in a car that's parked in a driveway. When first responders ask what's going on, she shuts the door in their faces. I'm sorry. Hello, ma'am. Can you control with your dog? Right now. Can, Can you please? control your dog? No, yeah, she's just sitting there. Okay. I just got back from getting her. I'm sorry, I'm not dealing with this right now. I'm going through a lot. What are you going through? Here, ma'am, come out here for a minute. No. Yes. No. We gotta talk Leave about something. Alone. As the conversation continues, Lyle says someone stole her dog, who can be seen inside of her vehicle. Lyle also refuses to step out of the car. Leave me alone. Ma'am, step out of the car. Hi, pup. Someone stole my dog. Someone stole your dog? Yeah. Okay. My, all Do you my live gates here? are closed. I went outside, still no gates are open. And she's not in the backyard. Do you live here? Yes, I own this house. You own this house? Yes. Okay. Step out here for a minute. Oh, come on. No. Step I out of the car. Keep wrong. your hands in sight. The next moments come quick as Lyles throws her vehicle in reverse and backs up as the deputy still holds on to her hand. After that, she slams the car in drive and heads straight for one of the deputies, even chasing him across her lawn. Man, five, five, During this time, two deputies fire a total of 10 shots at Lyles. They later learn she'd been hit in the arm. None of the deputies were injured and the dog was also unharmed. Hey, five, five, four, she's fired, she's fired. Okay, we want to thank Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this body cam video. I mean, I think it's pretty clear from the body cams that we cover that it's not always safe out there. When you're hurt, it can be confusing. It can be scary. You don't really know where to turn. Well, Morgan & Morgan is actually the largest injury law firm in America. And at a time when you already have so much to think about, they're going to make it super easy for you. They have completely modernized the process because you submit your claim, you sign contracts, you upload documents, you talk to your whole legal team all on your phone. That's it. An attorney is going to review your case in just eight clicks. Also, they have 4,000 support staff that can help you too, which is just amazing to think about. And in terms of price, well, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured and you want to join the over 3 million people that call them every year, you can submit a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash lcbodycam or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. As Lyles drives off, deputies rush for their squad cars to begin a chase. The vehicle is going to be a white Dodge Challenger heading now southbound. Shots fired, shots fired. All officers are okay. Vehicle fled from us. It's a white female adult attached to the call. Lyles was on the run for about 15 minutes until sheriff's deputies caught up with her. Turn off the car! 
Dash camera video captures first responders call to Lyles, telling her to turn off the car and throw her keys out of the window. For several minutes, she refuses. Dog in the car! Dog in the car! Hey, hey! Yeah, stay in traffic! Throw the keys out the window! Throw your keys out the window! Eventually, she opens the driver's side door before closing it again. Who's, who's, who's arresting you? Ah. Hey, 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 hey! Step out of the truck! Step out! Go. Then she does it again. <laughs> After inching forward several times, she finally puts the car in park and gets out. Turn around! Turn around! Face away! Cool, cool! Cool! When she's close enough, deputies tackle Lyles and put her into cuffs. After being treated for the gunshot wounds, Lyles was booked into the Sacramento County Jail on charges of assaulting an officer. She's still being held there now on $500,000 bail. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.